Hello, hello everybody. So, a lot of people have been asking, how do we use ArcGIS product? So, to start off, there's our ArcGIS Pro and ArcGIS Desktop. So, in this tutorial, we're going to be using ArcGIS Pro because that's the one that I have license for. Okay. So, uh, you've you've recently got your software from ArcGIS Pro, and then now you want to know how to use the software because when you open the screen, the first thing that you see is a blank screen, but you don't. But you don't really know how to start so in this tutorial i'm going to be teaching you the first step uh, in starting your gis project which is importing your data into the into the gis software so let's get started so here i have my arcgis pro software i already opened it so it's already running and here i have another folder which contains my data which i want to use for the arcgis project i'm sure most of you know about the john snow the john snow article when learning gis so this is the data I need to import into my Archie software. Okay, so let's get started. So the first thing here is what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a map because I just want to create uh, a simple map and analyze the data. Okay, so I'm just going to click on map and it's going to give me a pop-up button where I need to input uh, my details. So I'm just going to say uh, Archie's Pro Tutorials. Okay, yeah, and it's gonna be saving the data in my documents actually's projects folder. So I'm just gonna click OK and uh, it should open a blank map. Uh, yeah. So let's gonna leave it uh, to open the blank map in the background. So as you can see it's telling me that it's opening a map. Uh, fortunately my computer is a bit slow in terms of processing, so it's gonna take a while. Okay, um, as you can see, uh, I'm connected to an online environment because I usually like working online because my license version is a named user license, so I have to log in first. So uh, when I open the map, it gives me a base map. It's a world topographical map. So now what I want to do is want to import data into our into our map. Okay, so to do that, we need to connect folders. But first of all, I think I need to mention this. A lot of people don't really know how to do this properly in a professional way. They just uh, go to your data and, just, and then you just minimize the window and then you just and then you just highlight everything and then you just drag and drop. No, that's not the proper way of doing this. So I'm gonna teach you how to do this. So you can either you can either right click here on folders and co add connection to folder, or you can simply click here. Uh, in your the inside tab and then you just click on add folder so i'm just going to do the first option that i talked about so i'm just going to right click on folders add folder connection yeah so this is going to uh, give me an option to connect to a folder which is within my which is within my computer so as you can see the path to this data is in gis data practical 3 and then data so i'm just going to go to my desktop then I'm gonna look for chess data, there it is. And then I'm gonna look for proc3. And then I'm gonna look for, for the name data. Okay, so this is my data. So I, what I need to do is I need to highlight this folder which contains the data. And then I'm gonna click OK. Yeah. So once I do that, then my folder is gonna come up here. If I, if I click the drop down on folders here, and then my data is gonna be here. And then I'm gonna click the drop down again, and then you can see the data is already there. Call it a death pump. So I'm just gonna. So now to load the data into your base map, uh, you just gonna right click on the data set that you wanna add. So I'm gonna start with the call it a death. I'm gonna click, I'm gonna right click here again, and then I'm gonna add to current map. You also have options to add to a new map with the option to add to a new map will open another map beside this one. So for now, I'm just going to be using one map and then I'm just going to say add to current map. Yeah, so now the data is uh, it's processing the background and once it's done, you're going to see a new, uh, you're going to see the shape file appear here. Yeah, it's, it's already complete. So now it's just loading the data onto my map. As you can see right there, it's processing. It's drawing the features which I already imported into the data. So it's going to take a while because of my processing processing memory yeah, it's drawing the base map to where okay so automatically 
uh, the data which I just imported has its own uh, its own view extent. So once I import the face data to my map, it's gonna it's gonna zoom to the default extent of the data. So now these are my color points. As you can see already. Uh, okay, so this is the professional way of doing things when you're using ArcGIS software. It doesn't matter if you're using Pro or using Desktop, but this is how you import data. Please, please desist from using the drag and drop because it's not a professional way. Because as you can see, if I close this project and let's say I want to come back tomorrow working on my data, the data is just going to be there because it automatically stores this into a geodatabase because this file on top of my data folder is a geodatabase. So everything that I do is being stored in this folder, in my this geodatabase folder. So when you drag and drop, uh, things become a little bit scattered and it's, it's pretty hard, it's pretty difficult to find the next time you come back working with ArcGIS software. So I guess that's all for today and please subscribe and like this video and share it with other people who might need to know. Thank you.